Hi and a very good evening to all of you. I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you once again to another special session whereby today we are going to talk about the launch of the first pilot project on central bank digital currency. If you are following this session, then you must be aware that in last month, last month May, RBI had issued a concept note on central bank digital currency. Now, the concept note was issued. Based on that concept note, a pilot project has been issued by RBI in the wholesale segment in order to test and see how this CBDC, the digital rupee or a digital currency is going to perform and what lessons can be learned from this. So let's get started with today's session. But before that, if you have still not downloaded the app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. So any kind of exam related updates, live video sessions, quizzes, topper strategies, all of these are available on this app. So make use of this app to further leverage your performance in the examination. So what are we going to talk about? As mentioned, the operationalization of the first pilot project on central bank digital currency. Now, we have all studied the meaning, the types, the benefits and the risk or issues associated with central bank digital currency. Now, that is from today, November 1st, RBI has said or RBI is going to operationalize the central bank digital currency for the wholesale segment. And the purpose is to review and improve the currency's functionality. So, uski functionality ko review karenge as well as we are going, the RBI is trying to see what all benefits could be derived. And this issuance of the pilot project will test the any kind of settlement in the secondary market for government securities. So, this is very important to you that in the wholesale segment, what is going to be tested? So, the pilot project is going to test any kind of settlement, settlement of transactions in the secondary market where sale and purchase of securities happen and that too for government securities, not for bonds, not for corporate bonds or equities, it is for the government securities. So this point becomes important for all of you to keep in mind. In scale, as we know that this pilot project is launched only for the wholesale segment. What about the retail segment? So RBI in its circular has mentioned that for the retail segment of CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, it is going to launch another pilot project in a closed group environment. And that closed group environment will consist of certain customers and merchants. So kuch customers and merchants ke saath retail segment ke liye bhi pilot project launch kiya jayega. I hope this is clear to you. Now let's talk about why are we issuing CBDC for settlement of transactions in government security. So let's talk about what was what is the current scenario. Ab tak kya chal raha tha? So whenever uh, banks had to purchase or sale or trade in government securities, jab bhi unko government securities ko bechna hota tha, that could have been done in T plus 1. So the settlement was T plus 1 days. Now as you all know, settlement T plus 1 day mein ho rahi thi. What does T stands for? So T stands for the date on which the order is to be executed. Suppose if Friday is the date on which uh, Bank A wants to sell government securities worth 10 crores to another bank. Bank B ko bechna hai. Theek hai? 10 crores worth government securities are to be sold and the date of order execution is Friday. Now the settlement date says that it should be T plus 1. Here 1 stands for business day. So what will be the business day? Kab hoga? Business days are the days on which uh, business transactions happen and that too Monday to Friday 9 to 5 p.m. and it also excludes all the days jo holidays hote hain. So any kind of holidays are excluded. Bank holidays excluded hote hain. So here what will be the settlement date? So the settlement date will be Friday plus one business day that is Monday. Monday included hoga. So your settlement will be done on Tuesday. I hope this is clear to you. Agar 
ये वेडनेसडे होता तो वेडनेसडे प्लस वन बिजनेस डे दैट इज थर्सडे एंड द सेटलमेंट इज टू बी कंप्लीटेड बाय फ्राइडे आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू टी प्लस वन डे में सेटलमेंट होती थी नाउ विद दिस पायलट प्रोजेक्ट दिस इज गोइंग टू टेस्ट द सेटलमेंट ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन ऑन अ रियल टाइम बेसिस अगर सपोज बैंक ए इन द सेम एग्जाम्पल वंस टू सेल 100 crores worth of government securities to bank b that will happen automatically in no time to so real time basis pe hoga 950 pe agar bank sell kar rahi hai to 950 mein it will get credited in the bank account of b to so bank account b mein credit ho jayegi aur yahan se ye debit ho jayegi so this is how it is going to take place under the pilot project one more thing that you should keep in mind is that there will be certain participating banks jo participate karenge for the settlement of transactions in government securities right now this participating bank will have to open an account with rbi so jitne bhi participating banks honge they will open an account with rbi and this they will so not any kind of टोकन विल नॉट बी इशूड टू दिस पार्टिसिपेटिंग बैंक कैसे ट्रांजेक्शन होंगे सो ट्रांजेक्शन विल बी एंटायरली ऑनलाइन अकाउंट बेस्ड होगा जहां पर इफ यू आर सेलिंग समथिंग योर अकाउंट विल बी डेबिटेड एंड इफ the if the other party or the counter party here purchases something their account is going to be credited I hope this is clear to you तो account based होगा आपके अकाउंट से डेबिट होके दूसरे के अकाउंट में क्रेडिट हो जाएगा सो दिस इज दिनारियो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉक अबाउट वट आर दोपोज बेनिफिट फ्रॉम सच काइंड ऑफ पायलट प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस दैट यू कैन सी इज दैट इट इज गोइंग टू ब्रिंग एफिशियंसी एफिशियंसी कैसे आएगी सेटलमेंट ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन आर गोइंग टू बी डन ऑन अ रियल टाइम बेसिस तो कोई भी डिले नहीं होगा सो देर विल बी एफिशियंसी इन द इंटर बैंक मार्केट ट्रांजेक्शन बिटवीन द बैंक स्पेसिफिकली एज ऑफ नाउ इज जस्ट फॉर द गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज बट इफ वी सक्सीड इन दिस पायलट प्रोजेक्ट देन ऑल द लर्निंग दैट वी विल टेक अप फ्रॉम दिस पायलट प्रोजेक्ट विल बी यूज इन इम्प्लीमेंटेड टू अदर सेक्टर्स एज वेल सच एज सेटलमेंट ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन इन द इंटर बैंक ट्रांसफर्स और बॉन्ड्स और गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज तो वहां पर भी इसको यूज कर सकते हैं प्लस द टेस्टिंग द लर्निंग कैन ऑल्सो बी यूज फॉर cross border payments so we can make payment overseas that too without any delay real time basis pe aap transaction kar paoge using the cbdc central bank digital currency so this is going to be a proposed benefit apart from efficiency and uh, the benefit that is, that we are going to achieve once it becomes successful there are other benefits as well other benefits such as it is going to reduce the transaction cost as you all know whenever time takes place settlement time kya tha t plus 1 certain transaction cost are in involved transaction cost in the form of so there are two basic transaction cost first is having a settlement guarantee infrastructure and second is having collateral so these are transaction apart from that in order to undertake the transaction certain other transaction costs are also included operation costs include ho jate hain now what does this settlement guarantee infrastructure stands for so whenever there is a transfer of security between banks there is a clearing house a clearing house banaya jata hai and all the participating members are requested to contribute certain funds to this clearing house so that at times of settlement this money the contributed amount by the members can be used to act as a cushion once or if any kind of uh, any kind of default is seen in payment and therefore this this money will act as a cushion against such risk so this is the purpose of settlement guarantee infrastructure इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोवाइड किया जाता है सो दट सेटलमेंट ऑफ सच ट्रांजेक्शन कुड बी डन ऑन अ टाइमली मैनर एंड देर फॉर दे एक्ट एज अ क्वेश्चन हाउ एवर इफ ट्रांजेक्शन हैपन यूजिंग सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी विच विल सेटल द ट्रांजेक्शन ऑन अ रियल टाइम बेसिस दैट मीन्स देर इज नो नीड ऑफ हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ सेटलमेंट गारंटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर apart from that bahut bar transactions jab bhi transfers hote hain they they are they keep collateral 
so that people do not default on making such transaction so this will also be reduced and this is going to help in mitigating any kind of settlement risk so in sare transaction cost se aap bach jaoge so these are the coincident cost and these are the coincident benefit that will arrive if this pilot project gets succeeded this is clear to you now let's talk about the participating bank jinki mein baat kar rahi thi all those banks who have opened an account opened an open an account with central bank to have or to issue central bank digital currency so there are nine banks who are going to participate in this pilot project this nine banks as you can see is mentioned here sbi hai hdfc bank hai union bank hai bank of baroda hai yes bank idfc and hsbc icici bank as well as you can see not not only public sector banks there are private sector banks as well to ye cheez aapko dhyan rakhna hai ki bas public sector banks nahi hai there are private banks as well as well as international foreign banks who are going to participate in this a uh, pilot project of issuing or launching central bank digital currency so this was the news i hope it is clear to you now let's talk about certain thing about the central bank digital currency we have already talked about but some other important information and for all those who haven't seen the last video this is for you guys so we talk about the central bank digital currency it was for the first time introduced or talked about or announced in the financial year 2023 budget so jo feb mein release hua tha budget so in that budget it was announced by the finance minister nirmala sitaraman talking about the use or having certain kind of central bank digital currency in order to mitigate the risk arising from cryptos so cryptos as you all know sara kuch private sector hai waha pe now there will be a central bank the rbi who will be regulating the central bank digital currency providing the benefits of the cryptos but it is going to be regulated by the central bank of our country right and based on this announcement recently last month he october may rbi had issued a concept note on central bank digital currency talking about its meaning features advantages forms of issuances whether it is go it is going to bear interest or not issues all of these were discussed in this central bank digital currency concept note right and according to that rbi has defined central bank digital currency as something which is sovereign in nature to ye ek sovereign currency hogi and it is going to be a legal tender jaise 100 rupees ka note le lo 500 rupees ka note le lo these are legal tender for india 5 rupee coin is also a legal tender similarly this central bank digital currency is going to be a legal tender which will be issued by the central bank of our country the Mon monetary policy authority that is the central bank however as the name suggests this will be issued not in physical form but in digital form right and as we all know what is going to be the exchange rate so it will be at par exchangeable to that of the physical currency or the fiat currency so if suppose you have a 100 rupee note in physical form you will be able to get to get 100 rupees worth of central bank digital currency in the digital form i hope this is clear to you now a question must have arise in your mind that how it is different from the already existing digital money as you all know digital money has been prevalent how kaise prevalent hai digital money jaise aapne dekha ki wholesale transactions ke case mein wholesale cbdc ke case mein account credit and debit are happening and that is known as central bank digital currency because that is account based similarly agar aap uh, banks ko dekhoge then banks have been uh, you you deposit your money how it how it is that reflected in your account it is reflected as a credit to your account right so this has been happening for long right commercial banks book entries karte hain on your accounts so it has been prevalent how it is going to be different it is going to be different because previously or here the liability or the onus stands on the commercial banks but now if you are using the central bank digital currency the liability will be on rbi because rbi is issuing it to so rbi ke upar sari liability hogi 
and that's the reason why a very special feature of this central bank digital currency is that you get the benefit of settlement finality so this is a very important and a beautiful concept which says that even if now if you have seen the digital payments jab bhi aap upi wagaira bhi use karte ho kai bar aapke payments atak jate hain your payments get stuck right and sometimes that payment also get reversed however in the case of central bank digital currency since rbi is taking the liability the liability lies with rbi any kind of transaction that happens you will be getting the amount in your account at some point in time that transaction or that amount will be in your account and no matter what even if the person or the counterparty defaults or becomes insolvent the liability to make that payment lies on rbi to agar suppose kisi person ne uske account mein paise nahi hai and if it is transferring that money to you you will be getting that amount in some point in time would transferred your reverse nahi hoga so this is the benefit and this is known as settlement finality so the transaction will be settled for sure which is not seen or find or found in other forms of digital money so i hope this would be uh, this will be remembered by you this is an important concept aapko pata hona chahiye and this is the 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 essence of this central bank digital currency the benefit the main motive or the main advantage that a retail person will be getting out of the central bank digital currency यहां तक क्लियर होगा नो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉक अबाउट द टाइम्स अब मैं आपको बता रही थी कि जो पायलट प्रोजेक्ट लॉन्च हुआ है दैट हैज बीन लॉन्च फॉर द होलसेल सीबीडीसी दिस वी हैव डिस्कस जस्ट इन ब्रीफ होलसेल सीबीडीसी सीबीडीसी क्या होता है सो दीस आर दोस सीबीडीसी करेंसीज व्हिच विल बी इशूड और व्हिच विल बी डेजिग्नेटेड और डिजाइन for restricted access to select financial institution to sare financial institutions ke liye nahi hai basically banks ke liye honge non banks ke case ka kya hai that has not been defined so it is it will have a restricted access only for selected or select financial institution and what is the purpose of having wholesale cbdc for settlement of transactions in the interbank market for government securities for bonds and even for the capital markets so this is going be going to be the utility of the wholesale cbdc and now what has been launched a pilot project has been launched only launched only for the government security segment i hope yahan se aapko clear ho gaya hoga what is this retail cbdc so retail cbdc hum jaise logo ke liye hai the retail consumers so all the private sector non financial consumers non financial all the non financial consumers and businesses unke liye issue hoga retail cbdc as you can see jo wholesale cbdc hai this is only for the financial institutions institutions however बिजनेसेस इंडिविजुअल्स जैसे हम फिजिकल कैश यूज करते हैं ये क्या यूज करते हैं अकाउंट बुक एंट्रीज करते हैं डेबिट क्रेडिट हियर वी यूज फिजिकल कैश तो हम फिजिकल यूज करते हैं दैट इज फॉर अस फॉर द जनरल पर्पस रिटेल सीबीडीसी विल बी इशू ठीक है एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी सिमिलर टू द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वर्जन ऑफ द कैश ऑफ द फिजिकल कैश दैट वी होल्ड प्राइमरली मेंट फॉर रिटेल ट्रांजेक्शन सो जो भी हम ट्रांजेक्शन कर रहे हैं उसके लिए आपका रिटेल सीबीडीसी एप्लीकेबल होगा आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द मॉडल फॉर इशुएंस सो बेसिकली देर आर टू मॉडल्स एंड वन इज दाइब्रिड मॉडल first is direct model direct model kya bolta hai so the direct model says that all kind of record making or providing or all type of record making issuance account keeping all of these will be done by the central bank so the central bank will be responsible for managing everything related to that transaction to ye ho gaya aapka direct model if we talk about the indirect model इन डायरेक्ट मॉडल में क्या है देर विल बी एन इंटरमीडियरी तो सेंट्रल बैंक होगा सेंट्रल बैंक विल बी इशूंग द सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी सच सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी विल बी इशूड टू द इंटरमीडियरीज इंटरमीडियरीज कुड बी बैंक कुड बी पेमेंट सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा न द रोल ऑफ दिस इंटरमीडियरी इज टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द सी बी डी सी टू द पब्लिक ठीक है तो यहां पर क्या था जस्ट सेंट्रल बैंक सेंट्रल बैंक मैनेजिंग एवरीथिंग 
and having a direct contact with the public. Here, the central bank will have an intermediary who will be distributing on behalf of central bank to the public. Clear here? Now, what is this hybrid model? Now, the hybrid rest you can read, right? Here, yeah. So, obligation ki baat kare, direct model mein obligation will rest on the central bank. If we talk about indirect model, here the obligation to provide CBDC on demand. So, if agar aap banks jate ho, agar aapne kuch amount deposit kiya and you go to the bank to withdraw your money, then that bank is responsible to pay your money on demand. Similarly, if you have certain CBDC and you are demanding that CBDC, in that case, intermediary is going to be responsible. So, the obligation or the onus will lie on the intermediary in the indirect model which is also known as the two-tier model. Single tier, direct model. Two-tier is the indirect model. Talking about the hybrid model. Hybrid model may, this will follow. Central bank will be issuing. Distribution will be done by the intermediary to the public. However, however, the account maintenance, account maintenance or the record keeping will be done by both the central bank and the intermediary. So, there is the difference in the hybrid model. Here, account maintenance central bank kar rahi thi. Here, the account maintenance was done by the intermediary. Account maintenance done by intermediary and the account details of all the intermediaries was looked upon by the central bank. However, central bank had to be here cautious enough in order to see that all the cumulative retail transactions and the intermediary account are could tally. However, in case of hybrid model, the account maintenance will be done by both central bank and intermediary. I hope this is clear to you. Dubara sunna, very simple, very easy and yes, important for your examination. Now, let's talk about the major consideration or the preferred choices by RBI. So, RBI ne kya preferred kiya hai for India? So, for India, what kind of digital currency is RBI expecting? So, first and foremost is the type of CBDC. As we all know, there is going to be two types of CBDC. For general purpose is the retail one and for uh, specific bank transfers. For select financial institutions, it is going to be the CBDC wholesale. Second is the choice of CBDC issuance model. So, what kind of CBDC will be will be uh, chosen for India? For India CBDC, that is going to be the intermediate model. What is this intermediate model? This is the two-tier model. Jo humne padha tha abhi two-tier model, which says the central bank will issue and the distribution part will be done by the intermediary. All kinds of record keeping will be done by intermediary. However, central bank will keep a look on the accounts of all the intermediary. The obligation to pay on demand will be on the intermediary, right? Why are we doing this? The only purpose is that by having this intermediary, we can have more of innovations in the financial space, right? Because intermediary, it has been seen that the private sector or this intermediaries have played a very important role even in the case of UPI. So having this model will promote or will bring more of innovations in the future. Next is instrument design. Now this is important. Now there are two things. Now this CBDC, ke liye, there were two arguments. First, to have interest on this CBDC. Why to have interest on CBDC? If we are having interest if that CBDC carries certain interest, 1%, 2%, 4%, whatever be the interest rate, people will be attracted to have CBDC with them. But the flip point is that if we have interest rate attached to a CBDC, bank will find it very difficult to have deposits with them. Why? People will now prefer to have CBDC instead of depositing their money into bank. Because of all the advantages that CBDC provide, ek to electronic form mein hai, banks ke se everything is so seamless, which is not provided by the banks. 
so for that reason in case of india cbdc will be non remunerative that means the, the instrument the cbdc that will be for india the digital currency will not bear any kind of interest so it will be non interest bearing currency jaise hamare physical cash hai uspe koi interest nahi hai same will be with the digital currency or the e rupee for india next is the forms of forms of cbdc now for the wholesale transactions yahan pe financial banks are involved where select financial banks financial institutions are involved for them the transactions or the form will be account based account to account transfers debit credit however for the retail one jo bhi retail transactions hai for the general purpose that will be in the form of token based token based ka kya matlab hota hai it could be in the form of any instrument any bearer instrument stating that such and such amount uh, such and such amount is the value of that of that token for example jaise aapka 100 rupee ka note hai right now whoever has this note will be the owner of this note right similarly in the case of token base a token will be generated to you which can be in the form of a certificate right and this certificate whoever holds this certificate will be the owner of such cbdc so this was in detail about the central bank digital currency i hope this is clear to you the advantages and issues we have already discussed in our previous video now let's look at certain questions so there are three questions for you to be answered in the comment section the first question says recently rbi has rolled out the pilot project to operationalize digital rupee in the wholesale segment now what will be the what will the pro pilot project test to what will be the testing for so you need to identify the correct answer the second question says you need to identify uh, the correct statements so correct statements identify karne hain three statements are given to you the first statement says single tier model right the direct model will be the most suitable architecture for introduction of cbdc in india we have already discussed in the previous slide second it says remunerative form of cbdc will be suitable in order to attract the public again we have discussed and the third it says token based cbdc will be used for the retail segment for the general purpose that you need to identify the correct statements next question for you the next question says we need to identify the incorrect statements first statement says wholesale cbdc will be available to all financial institutions second retail cbdc will be the electronic version of cash primarily meant for both retail and wholesale transactions and third under the two tier model or the intermediary model central bank will be responsible for managing all aspects of digital rupee system kon responsible hoga you need to identify the correct answer to this question so this was all for today that i wanted to discuss with you the answers are already provided in the pdf in case of any doubt any suggestions or feedback you are most welcome to write it down in the comment section till then take care and bye bye